Okay. Normally, I wouldn't take the time to tell people all this. I kind of like not tell them about this. Because, I don't know. People don't understand. Uh, the significance of this stuff, and they don't really care. So I'll put it to you, I'm gonna break it down to you. We've been taught that the name of this planet is planet Earth, but that's a lie. The name of this planet is not planet Earth. It has a different name. That name can be seen from space and that name can be seen in the rock formations that are on the ground in multiple continents. If you've ever traveled the world, you can see the name of the planet with the rock formations on the ground. So you've got that situation. Now, why would we call the planet Herat? Excuse me, why would we call the planet Earth? This is because the so-called elite scholarly people, as they like to think of themselves as, they don't want you to know the real name of the planet. So I'm gonna give you an idea of what this planet is exactly, and what the La'al Mufuz is exactly. When you think of this planet, Think of it as a temporary place, a place that you go to to be judged, like a waypoint, like a place that you just, a place that you pass through. So if we're not in heaven, the only other place we could be at is a place that is not heaven, right? So obviously, the planet has a different name. That's just logically speaking. If we're not in heaven, then we must be somewhere else. So, how does the La Al Mufuz play a factor in this? Well, if you know the story of Moses, if you know the story of Issa, if you know the story of Idris, if you know the story of Muhammad, if you know the story of who else? Let's see, who else went up into the heavens? Uh, I guess it would be King Solomon. Uh, there are so many. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's impossible for me to name all the names of the prophets and messengers that went up into heaven. Peace and mercy and blessings be upon all of them. Um, to explain the La Alma Fools, what it is, is it's a kind of entertainment. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that entertainment a little bit. The kind of entertainment that it is, is it's like an interactive computer. Think of it like a simulator that you can interact with and it'll interact back with you. Only there are certain key elements to the simulator and the simulation that make it capable, that make you capable of achieving an exit point. Uh, from this planet, uh, potentially some would say like through solar mass or uh, in, in, another, in another way. Uh, however, um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, the time limit, which some will say is 5,000 years because of the book of Adam and Eve. Uh, others would say it's 50,000 years because of the time it takes for Jabril to leave one place and go to the other. Uh, so with that being said, um, this brings me to my next topic. They say, recently, there was an uh, article on CNN talking about UFOs. Uh, they say there's a whole fleet of UFOs up there. Well, let me tell you something about this planet. It's not UFOs. I told you. But La Alma Fools is a kind of entertainment, meaning that it will entertain you. Uh, it will entertain you in such a way 
that the simulator, uh, which is the La Alma Fools, will create simulations for you with certain key elements. Uh, if you fail the simulation, then uh, perhaps some of those key elements will become stronger or will transcend the simulation into a more realistic manner. Uh, such as an example of this would be a tornado or a hurricane or a monsoon or a tsunami or a flood or a locust attacking a field or uh, the seas turning red or a forest fire started by a lightning strike or a lightning striking people or uh, plagues. Uh, so, in this simulation, which is a lot of fools, obviously we breathe, we breathe oxygen and we drink water, so we're definitely part of the simulation whether we want to be or not. Uh, you have to understand that this is an entertainment, literally. It entertains you. That entertainment comes to life. Uh, so, uh... I'm saying this because they are making so much uh, so much of a big deal out of these UFO things, right? Not realizing that the more that they believe in it, think of it like a psychic force. Only the psychic force can be activated in certain kind of ways. Uh the more it can become a reality. You understand what I'm saying? The more you believe in it, the more it can become a reality. Like, if you believe you can invent a flying machine, eventually you will be able to fly because it's an entertainment. It's a temporary place. It's a place that will eventually go up and smoke. Uh, so with that said, I'm just trying to give you a concept of a deeper, different side of Islam that you probably are unaware of. But, uh, yeah, the name of the planet is not Earth. That's not what's written on the planet. It has a different name. And uh, it's a form of entertainment. So why not experience the entertainment of righteousness rather than the entertainment of injustice and oppression? La Al Mufuz Imam over and out.